Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. In the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, who came to us in the person of Master Farad Muhammad, the one God to whom all praise is due. And we forever thank Allah for raising up in our midst our beloved messenger, Messiah, exalted Christ, the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. And we can never thank them both for the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, the leader of the Nation of Islam. I'd like to welcome all of you, our beloved brothers and sisters, to this portion of the Journal of Truth. I'm your brother, Sami Muhammad. I'm here with my big brother, Norman Muhammad. And we're going to, by the will of Almighty God, Allah, continue to share with you the life-giving teachings of Messenger Elijah Muhammad. And as we all know, here on the Journal of Truth, we start all of our broadcasts with a thought on unity from Messenger Elijah Muhammad. Since Allah, God, did not come to us quarreling, why should we quarrel with one another? We must recognize and respect his love for us and not let him hear us quarreling and disrespecting his presence. Proudness is a sickness. This is why we are divided. We will be one or nothing. The more you learn, the less you seek advantage. Don't be careful that you agree on right, but be careful that you don't agree on wrong. Don't withhold your good just because another withholds his good. You do your part. Greeting a Muslim is binding upon you. If you do not, your mind is not right. The right medicine for the disease in our heart is the spirit of Allah. Fear is the worst enemy of man. When you find a man that doesn't fear, that is the winner. These are the words of Messenger Elijah Muhammad, brothers and sisters, and he calls this great teaching to you and to us a thought on unity. We ask that you all please hear and obey the words of God's messenger to the black man and woman here in America. Let us set aside our differences, brothers and sisters, and unite together. All praise is due to Allah. I want to bring to the microphone my big brother, Brother Norman Muhammad. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Salam, salam, sir. How are you feeling? Excellent, Brother Norman. How are you doing today? We feel excellent, my brother. Praises be to Allah. You have uh, some information that we want to get right into, brothers, and, uh, and, and let our brothers and sisters know that uh, the words of the messenger are right and exact. Absolutely. I have here a copy of the final call, 2000, February 2011. Yes, sir. And Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is speaking about that right now. It talks about four great wins, or four great judgments of America. Can she withstand the judgment? And Minister Farrakhan, with his last speech, press, uh, press conference, he said, watch the weather. And he, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad said he got the, Allah, God has the rain, hail, and snow. It has the snow stored up in the north. And you see how cold it's been? They hadn't been this cold in over 100 years, brother. Yes, sir. All the things that are happening to America now has not happened in 100 years. As there be wars and rumors of wars. You see, when somebody in Hawaii, one of the governor's people, Push the wrong button. Had no been pushing no buttons at all, and sent out a, a, a wide a, a signal all over Hawaii, telling them to take shelter because incoming bombs was coming in, incoming rockets, and it wasn't true. But they panicked. The people panicked for one hour, brother. Panicked for one hour, trying to find shelter to go to. They was on the beach, 
partying, swimming. Yes, and here right. come the sounds, the sirens, all over Hawaii, brother. You know, but it shows that, and first thing, the president here thought that North Korea had sent a missile over there. Yes, sir. So everybody trying to start something because North Korea and South Korea having the Olympics together. You see, so they're talking. They're, they're brothers in they're the North and the South, so they're talking. Right. And somebody don't want it to happen. So somebody put out, pulled the wrong level, man. They had no business in that particular area. They pulled the level, they, they warned the whole Hawaiian uh, island that rockets were coming in there. And the first thing they thought that, that uh, Red uh, Korea, North Korea, was mad and sending rockets over there. And that would make America shoot a rocket to North Korea. Mm. You know, and it took them 45 minutes before they realized it would not wasn't happening, brother. Yes, sir. There are things going on. For those of you who don't have the latest edition of the Final Call newspaper, Extreme Weather in America's Divine Chastisement. Yes, sir. Rain, hail, snow, flooding as 2018 opens with acts of God punishing a failing nation. And, and if you don't slides. have, uh, and the mudslides, and the insect world. Right. You know, we are living in the day of judgment. Uh, to our beloved Christian family, the last book of the Old Testament of the Bible says, Behold, I will send you Elijah the prophet yes. before the coming of the great and dreadful day of the Lord. And he shall turn the hearts of the fathers to their children and the hearts of the children back to their fathers, lest I come and smite the earth with a curse. Yes, sir. Now, Elijah has come and departed, and now these prophecies are coming before, right before our eyes, brothers and sisters. I want to share with you from this great book. If you don't have this book, you need to get a copy of it. It's called The Fall of of America is written by God's messenger, the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. You need to get a copy of this book at once, brothers and sisters. This book uh, was made available to us in the year of 1973. So uh, it is truth, and the truth is something that never grows old. That's right. It don't have a, a date where it grows old. It can become new, but only if we never heard it before. Right. So, but it's never going to get old, black man and black woman. So here's the words uh, of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, and we must uh, come to know and understand the time and the day and what must be done, brothers and sisters. You don't... Uh, play with God's messengers. Messengers of God don't lie. They are bearers of uh, good news and they bring a, a warning also. That's right. And so now we find the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan and we want you to know that this great black man is the national representative of the Messiah. That's right. He is the national representative of the exalted Christ, Elijah Muhammad. That's right. So don't take his words for granted like Brother Norman was pointing out to us uh, about uh, these things that's going on in America, brothers and sisters. You're going to have to make a conscious decision. That's right. You're either going to be with God or you're going to be with Satan. This is where we're at. Uh, there is no compromise Brothers and sisters, you either going to be with God or you're going to be with Satan. That's right. Now, what choice are you going to make? You say, well, uh, Brother Sami, uh, Brother Norman, uh, I'm a Christian and uh, you all are Muslim. There ain't but one God. That's brother. right. And one Satan. And one Satan. That's right. <laughs> and so uh, it, this is not multiple choice. That's right. You understand? When multiple choice in school, you can guess your way and pass the test. Right. We're in the day of judgment. Ain't no guessing, black man That's and black right. woman. That's right. You're either going to be with Satan or you're going to be with God. Now, you see what God is doing to America. Why, as our great uh, brother, Dr. King, Learned yes, sir. after he met with the Honorable Elijah Muhammad February the 24th, 1966, before Savior's Day, our great brother, Dr. Martin Luther King, met with the Honorable Elijah That's Muhammad right. at his home. That's right. 
And after meeting with the messenger, then the uh, uh, great Dr. King began talking about Pharaoh. Right. Started talking about the children of Israel and how when, as long as the children of Israel unite, then they can beat Pharaoh. And he uh, was in a com conversation with one of our great brothers, uh, Harry Barafani, the great singer. Right. And he told him that he uh, had a different uh, thought now about uh, asking his people to integrate with a house that's burning down. Right. So you're going to have to understand, Dr. King wasn't just some dreamer. That's Satan that wants you to think that about Dr. Martin Luther King. When you're dreaming, brothers and sisters, you sleep. That's right. And <laughs> I happen to be blessed because Dr. King and I were friends. I was a friend with his father. Yes, sir. And, and I met his children when they were just youngsters. You yes, know? sir. And I met him when I first met him after his mother had gotten killed. I, I told him that I who I was, and I wanted him to meet the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. Yes, sir. He invited me by his house the next day, so you can ask anybody who ever been to his home what he got at the front door. And he had a big, full bear with yeah. the head on it, carcass at the front door of his home. When you walk in there, got the, got the black bear head in the bear body on the floor like a rug. Yes, you know, sir. When I tell his children about that, they just laugh because they knew that when they were growing up, that that black bear head was right there at the front door. You know, so Dr. King it was a great man, a spirit, great spiritual man. Yes, sir. A humble man, very knowledgeable man. When I was living in Atlanta, you know, he, his, his father was called Pop King, and everybody knew him. Everybody knew the doctor. He would always move through Atlanta very smoothly, very quietly. You know, so people that, that come up today talk about Dr. King like they knew just who he was, but they didn't even know him because they were too young for one. Yes, sir. And Jesse Jackson knew him well, and he he, he was that's why he's still nervous behind uh, the killing Dr. King standing right next to Jesse Jackson. Yes, sir. You know, that's enough to scare a man to death for life. You know. So what our people, what we, what we must do is pay attention to ask your preacher when you go to church, ask him what about these wars and rumors of wars? What about the weather? See if he can explain to you why we're having dreadful cold weather at this day and time. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad said God had the snow stored up in the north to come down on America. And it's here, brothers and sisters. It's here right now. It's freezing outside. The sun be shining. And you can feel the heat, little heat from the sun as long as you stand in its shadow. But then you get out of the sun and it's cold, freezing. So we must pay attention to the times. You know, and it's not like it used to be. When you can go to sleep and wake up and everything be like you think it's going to be when you wake up. But it's a whole different ball game today. The time is at hand. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. If the time is at hand, brothers and sisters. You got there so much. Uh, in this great uh, writing, The Fall of America, the messenger says the four great judgments that Allah God promises to destroy America with are now coming upon her. Hell, snow, drought, earthquake. Allah God has reserved his treasures of snow and ice to be used against the wicked country of America in the day of battle and war. Now, this is what uh, Brother Norman was just talking about, just to let you know that he's not coming off the top of his head. That's right. He's coming off the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. So we want you to take another look at the nation of Islam. That's right. Don't uh, fall for the technology that the government is using to keep you away from your true religion, which is Islam. Yes, sir. Before we were brought to America, we knew nothing about uh, the uh, teachings of Christianity. And due to fact, if you're a good Christian, according to the messenger, then you're a good Muslim. That's right. Based upon the definition of the word to be crystallized, to be Christian means to be crystallized into oneness That's with right. God. So uh, the word Muslim is an Arabic word. It means who one is created to submit and do the will of God. That's right. So don't be tricked, brothers and sisters, by uh, the semantics, the plan of words by Satan. Satan has always been a master at tricking the black man and black woman here in America. That's right, because he tricked our forefathers onto the ship. 
You see? Yeah, they, that was a trick. He said, come on, I got some gold. We can pick up some gold right, right around the corner. And so our people love gold, and they were used to gold and diamonds. And John Hawkins got them on the ship, and they, next thing you know, the ship was out in the sea. Yes, sir. And he said, you, know, you can have this old Western world, but give me the ship Jesus so I can go back home. That's right. They called the ship Jesus, you know, letting folks know, letting the black people know that there was a man that was going to save them. So, okay, if he's going to save us, give him to me so I can go back home. So the enemy took our people away and took their names, beat them, killed them, hung them, you know, threw them overboard. And today, 2018, our people seem to fall more in love with them. It's a testimony uh, to the job that they did upon us. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Satan. We're talking about Satan. Now, he's a, he's a man just like God is a man. That's a slavery teaching that had us believing that God is something other than a man. A spook. A you know spook. what I'm saying? So you can see him after you die. Yeah, after you die, you know what I'm saying? After all your life, then, and it's still no guarantee according to the way they teach it. Right, right, you know what I'm right. Saying? If you're good, if you're good. Right. But if you done been to jail, you ain't going to see God. They really hooked us up, as we yeah. used to say, brother. Yes, Norman. sir. Yes, sir. But the messenger says, he says, Woe to America. Her day has arrived. Mm -hmm. She would not heed the warning. I begged her to let us be separated from her on a little territory in the state to ourselves. Right. And to let us be responsible for our own survival, only to get out from under her injustice but she refused. So it was with Pharaoh in the time of Moses. God went down to Egypt to make Israel and her enemies, uh, right? Yes. To make Israel and her enemies, the Egyptians, an example for a future people so that this may serve as a sign of what we see going on in America today. Now, come on, black man and black woman. Surely, wherever your religious Believe is surely you see what's going on in that's America, right, that's right. and you can start uh, with Mr. Trump in the White House. Our great leader and teacher, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan, uh, talked to Mr. Trump on November the 16th, right at the Watergate Hotel, right, he, right there in Washington D.C. And you heard Mr. Trump just a couple of days ago say, told told the Congress, don't y'all let no more of them. Black so and so so and so into America. Yeah. Get some white folk, you know, import some white people. Right. You know? Yeah. So that shows how he feels. He said from Haiti and Africa, don't don't import no more of them That's black right. so and so's. You heard the word that he used. His own uh white people are ashamed of him. Right. He's embarrassing them. And and they are some of them getting mad and like the honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is teaching us, they're getting mad because he's a reflection of them. That's right. He is reflecting what they all talk about on their lunch breaks, you know, when they are by themselves about us. That's right. See, but remember Almighty God Allah who came in the person of Master Farad Muhammad. That's our God's name. Yes, right. He is our Lord. He is our Savior. And he's manifesting this Satan to all of the black people here in America and all of our people all over the planet Earth. That's right. That's right. And if, if you don't believe it, it's, not say, I say, start to say hang around. You know, just no, stay around. Right. Just stay around. That's right. Because with the weather being like it is, and the people that own the grocery stores are living too far out sometimes to come into the city. That's why they close them stores down now when it start getting dark, 5 o'clock. They close those stores down and head back out of town. So what are we going to do prior to that if you get hungry? What's yes, your baby's going to do? You know, What's your wild dogs going to do if they can't eat? You know, they're going to turn on you. That's right. You, you yeah. start looking like a sandwich. That's you know, right. You, know you look like a, a fried chicken to, to you, to the dog. You know, so you be careful and take heed to what the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is saying to us. That's right. Preparing us for a hard time, bro. We are not uh, making mockery of you. That's right. We are not uh, never to think that 
Uh, we are smiling and laughing and saying that we are not making fun of you, brothers and sisters. That's right. This is a very serious hour that we're living in, and we are trying to help the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan get this message out to you. That's right. Uh, you missed a great lecture if you were not at the historic Muhammad Mosque Number 1 at 14880 Wyoming earlier today. Our great uh, Minister Troy Muhammad delivered a powerful message That's right. and, uh, about worrying and how uh, the, the disease that worrying and stress can cause us to obtain. That's right, brother. You see, so it's time, black man and black woman, uh, you must have Islam. Islam uh, means peace in a word. It means peace. And peace of mind and contentment is something that we have never experienced here here in America That's right. since the year 1555. Yes, sir. That's why the Elijah Muhammad and Minister Farrakhan says, the divine destruction of America, can she avert it? You know, and evidently she can't because it is happening more and more and more every day. When they had the, the uh, awards um, celebration the other night about the movies, and they gave Oprah Winfrey the, the greatest, uh, one of the greatest prizes ever, first black woman to get that Right, but they were everybody was sharp and celebrating. Yes, sir. Two days later, they were in the mudslide, brother. And she she was out there guiding people on to her land where they could get be rescued because the mud hit her land, but not it didn't destroy it. Yes, sir. You know, destroyed everybody else's. She was blessed. Oh yes, sir. Yes, sir. And that's why they wanted to see about running her for president behind Donald Trump. You know. Because right away they said that it's time for black folk, black women, or women in general yes. to stand up. Yes. And the Almighty like Muhammad said a long time ago, he said that the, the white man's last weapon he's going to throw out there is his woman. That's what he said. And you can see how, how all his woman, Jamie Foxx got, got one of the quiet movie stars, and all of the... And they're prancing around with him. Yes, sir. In front of everybody, letting the white man know that he got his woman. The white man mad, man. Sure is. You know, can a man prance around in front of you with your woman, your, your sister, your wife, and he another nationality? You know? And so everybody that's so-called famous out there today, black or Afro-American, as you want to call yourself, you have to be careful because... The white lady is your, the last weapon that her father and her brother and her boss going to put on us, on you, because I'm running, you know. So you have to be careful. You got money. You think you've achieved when you got your white woman. But be careful because she'll be there for two days, make you put you in a trance, then leave, say you done slapped her. She'll take all your money, all your cars, you know, because her, her, her brother is the judge, so he automatically going to give her everything that, that she wants. So we have to be careful, brother. Yeah, that's, uh, that word is so uh, timely. Brother. Yes, sir. Being careful, that's a, a good word, a good one-word statement uh, concerning how we should be in this day. Yes, sir. The messenger continues. We got about five more minutes, brothers and sisters. He says... The white man of America is not blind and ignorant. He has known these prophecies of his doom for a long time, before we knew it. For the white man translated the Bible, and he knows what he put in his translation of that which was written in the Bible. So uh, the Bible most used on the face of the earth, uh, brothers and sisters, is the King James Version of the Bible. Mm -hmm. And so he, as like the messenger is teaching us, he has put things in it and he has taken things out of That's it. That's right. That's you know, right. because uh, he don't want his slaves to know the truth That's right. about who he is. But all of you, my beloved brother and sister, you claiming Jesus as your man. Well, Jesus in the scripture is the one that talked about uh, the Caucasian, the Jews, being the devil. That's right. That's Jesus talking there in the book of John, right? That's right. right. That's right. That's John, right. call them murderers, 
from the beginning. Well, the messenger told us their beginning. We didn't know when their beginning was till the messenger told us their beginning. That's right. Right? Murderers. Right? Liars. Right. You know, when you speak it a lie, he speak it of his own. Now, Mr. Trump is a classic example of that. That's right. My beloved brothers and sisters. So, we want you to come by and please be our guest next Sunday at 14880 Wyoming. We're on the northwest side of the city. We're near Finkel. Our uh, service begins at 11 o'clock. We will be honored if you'll be Brother Norman or my guest That's right. to come out and hear our great uh, minister, Troy Muhammad, who is the state representative of the Honorable Louis Farrakhan, give us more of these life-giving teachings. That's right. The time is at hand, brothers and sisters. This is it. We are in the day of judgment. So, Brother Norman, you got a... Uh, a closing remarks you'd like to give. Sir. Well, one of the things that I, that I continue to say is our people must hear to the truth. You know, if you think that uh, the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan is not telling the truth, ask your pastor. Open up the book from what Brother Sammy has been talking about and read the final call and then ask your pastor, is it true? Yes, sir. And see what he says. If he says it's not true, then you need to leave his church and go to another one. Then ask that one. Is this true? If, if he said no, disagree with you, go to another church. They got 500 on the block. Yes, sir. You know, so they ain't find the hard to find a church. Matter of fact, the preachers begin to put churches in their names now. You know, then they, <laughs> preachers naming all the churches after them. Yeah, I would say I'd be doggone. Start me a church is Norman's church. <laughs> Time is at hand. Time you know? is at hand. So we want to know, brothers and sisters, so we got uh, two minutes. Our great uh, engineer uh, has given us the sign, and we will be on the radio broadcast. We are blessed to have a radio broadcast on 88.1 FM at 7 o'clock. Tune in, brothers and sisters. That's so we're right. going to continue uh, in this line of uh, wisdom, supreme wisdom from Messenger Elijah Muhammad yes, sir. and the Brother Minister Louis Farrakhan. So may Allah bless all of us to see, to hear, and to understand the life-giving teachings of Messenger Elijah Muhammad being continued today by Minister Louis Farrakhan. Thank you for listening as we greet you in peace. Assalamu alaikum. Black boy, you're alive.